Okay, we sang ducks in the mill pond and you heard it, but this is what it looks like now. Look at the notes, take a look. Just looking at it, do you think you notice any patterns? Any things where, any places where it looks the same? Does it look very different in places? All right, if you said there are some repeats in these parts like this, these first two measures, remember a measure is between one line and one line. Here's another measure. If you said these first two measures are the same as the next one, next two together here, yep, and the next two, that's why when you hear it, the words are different, but you can hear the melody, the up and the down repeating. Ducks in the mill pond, geese in the clover, fell in the mill pond, got wet all over. That changes, that's different. But those first three parts, same melody. Rise, children, gonna rise, gonna rise. Rise, children, gonna rise, gonna rise. And actually, the beginning of these two, what do you think, same or different? Very same, very similar. And then it's just that little ending part gets different there, okay? Like that, so. Rise, children, gonna rise, gonna rise. Rise, children, gonna rise, gonna rise. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead to the next part. And if you can get a something that's like a tambourine where you can kind of tap it, and then this little line thing right here means just shake it. So if you can get, put some beans in a Tupperware, some rice in a, well, something hard is better. Because you want to be able to tap it for these notes and then be able to shake it for these notes. And the S, X, and A, X, and B, X stand for different types of xylophones, like soprano xylophone, alto xylophone, bass xylophone. We don't have those, so if you get a box or you can tap on your table, we'll just tap on drums or tables or things like that instead for those parts. All right, go ahead and you can click on the next slide to go and read these different parts after you've grabbed um, an item around your house to make the music.